at the Home Recording Weekly blog. My name is Kern, and fresh off the press, I have a review here of the Amplitude 3 from IK Multimedia. It's a guitar and bass moduling software, but it's so much more now that it's in stereo. You can run your keyboard, your vocals, anything you want through this. Today, I just want to show you some of the effect pedals that are new with Amplitude 3 and in order to do it I've dialed up this amp and it's a Mesa Boogie clean like Mark I'm sorry Mark 2A or B or something in that category I just chose a really clean sound with no effects so that I can show you what's new in the pedal department the stomps they call them keep in mind um, if you're a home recording enthusiast like myself and you want one piece of software that allow you to go from Jimi Hendrix up to Disturbed and then back to Pink Floyd. Boy, the effects and the amps and the recording microphones in the software should fill every nook that you have. Uh, a gigging musician would find the same thing, although I would highly recommend their Stomp I.O. or maybe their Stealth pedal in use with an expression pedal just to uh, make use of the different wah and volume pedals and different parameters that you can select on the fly versus at home with a mouse or maybe a, a console that you might have. So that's the clean, unaffected signal. First up is a recreation of the Ibanez Tube Screamer. This thing is great for just doing a signal boost um, at the front end of your chain. But again, you can take this and drive and really come up with some nasty sounds. sounds so authentic I don't know I guess on a stage with the Marshall or something a full stack you could maybe tell the difference but this is so close to the original for recording purposes you can tweak it any way you want the next pedal is a big pig and I like it because it has a sustain dial pedal going into a clean cab. Another pedal that's cool is a feedback pedal and at first I was leery because it is a distortion pedal and can you really get feedback from a digital system? The answer is yes, and I'll show you. which I use or have come to start using it as a good way to boost the incoming signal. Very bluesy feel to it. Um, I have it set a little high. Very cool pedal. The Ambassador, uh, this is an amp all of itself. Uh, if you just want to keep the clean going and maybe have a switch where a second gain comes on or a second channel, the reason I say that, it has a bass, mid, and treble gain pot right there. Uh, and here's your gain. <laughs> Very 
cool pedal to have handy. Going on to some more modulation pedals that I think are just fantastic. First one is the Swell, and it's like a reverse reverb, but it's totally tweakable. That's set in the middle. Let me take it down a little bit for you. That's just kind of a... Yeah, this is really cool. Of course, that's to the extreme here. Very, very cool pedal for getting Pink Floyd or, or slowing things down and just really cool reverse reverb for your vocals too. Next up is a step filter like none other. This thing is fabulous. You can have 2 to 16 complete on and off steps. And what's beautiful, being digital, is you can completely tweak the on and off amounts. Um, I can't stop playing with this thing. And I'll show you just why. You can have, like I said, up to 16 on and offs. You can set it for quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenths, thirty seconds, even triplets is in there. Really cool when used with other things that it's triggering, I think. It's just going to be awesome, and I can't wait to get deeper into it. The Rezo is a, a filter. It's uh, everything you want, tweakable, right on the fly. I love a flanger. And I've always looked for a good one that creates, you know, like the Boss flangers back in the day. Doesn't that sound good? sounding um, different than a chorus it's definitely a flanger in every respect this is one of my main go-to modulation filters as well as the this echo man this thing you think digital delay and we're all getting pretty sick of it this is so close to analog it's just awesome <laughs> conjunction with a little drive this thing comes alive <laughs> Last but not least, the Harmonator. Now, of course, again, vocals. You may not want to use this pedal to record your backups or a double line, but you can definitely use it to find the notes you need. And I'm just having a blast with this pedal. Um, for blues, in E, I think that's an E, and this thing. <laughs> Really a cool pedal. Um, let me get it off E for you and show you. Again, you can find the major, the minor, all of this. Incredible.
cool. So that's it. The new pedals from IK Multimedia. Well, just a taste of them. Uh, come back to Home Recording Weekly soon as I'm going to be posting on some of the new amplifiers to be found in here. Some of the new rack effects, some of the new cabs, and the microphone section, as well as the brand new preset section, which has come a long way. 